Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Ara Ara the Weave Podcast. I'm your host, Amy, and today we will be discussing about how anime can motivate an athlete. Joining me today for this discussion is my co-host, Vibs, and our special guest, Gav. Um, Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming episodes and to follow us on our socials at Ara Ara Podcast. So the reason why we have Gab on today is because he himself is an athlete. In fact, he has his own channel that's completely dedicated to basketball called 50C. Um, Aside from that, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself, Gab? Hey guys, so uh, first of all, thank you so much for having me on the show. Uh, I'm really excited to give my insight about anime and to answer some questions from you as well. Uh, Like Amy said, yes, I do have my own basketball page and channel community called 50C Ball, where we just have a couple of weebs uh, as well in the team, and we just make funny basketball content. But other than that, uh, my name is Gab, and I'm 26 years old. And I also work in a gaming company called Gamers Hub ME, where I'm basically their content creator, their streamer, and also do marketing for the company as well. So yeah, really happy and excited to be on the show, guys. Thanks for having me. Thanks as well for joining us today, Gab. Since you mentioned that you were inspired by anime, what um, anime have you seen? Where do I begin? Well, most... (laughs) I wouldn't call myself a complete weeb. I do have uh, mm-hmm. teammates though that are like super, super uh, high, high intense weebs, uh, like my boy Mamadou and Malik. If you're watching, hope you guys see this. Uh, but there's so many protagonists uh, in the anime right now. But I take heavy inspiration from my boy Rock Lee. So Naruto. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I love Rock Lee. <laughs> Inspired by Rock. He's the only legit ninja in Naruto. <laughs> He's the only one who uses fire. Oops. <laughs> it's just all pure hard work, and I really like you know, mm-hmm. characters like that. So, yeah. Is there a specific genre that you're into, or has it always been just um, like shown in like Naruto, shonen. sports, mm-hmm. anime? Well, ob- well. My favorite anime is obviously Kuroko no Basket. That goes without mm-hmm. saying because I'm a basketball player. Uh, I started with Naruto, like most people, and I never got to finish it uh, when I was uh, when I was young. What? I did finish it eventually. How about now? I finished. <laughs> it, but I took a break from Naruto, <laughs> and then yeah. I just hopped onto uh, Kuroko as soon as it released. I finished all the scenes mm-hmm. and the movie and everything, and then that's when my interest into anime started picking up again. And then that's when I finished Naruto. <laughs> like, at what age did you start watching anime? I had a huge uh, figurine collection uh, addiction, actually, when I was 13. So I think I started watching anime when I was about 11, something like that. And that's when I started collecting figurines. Now, I don't know where they are. I think I lost them. <laughs> Those are expensive, <laughs> Gav! <laughs> Well, someone told me they're fake, so then I lost interest in them. <laughs> so, but wait, just to be clear, you you are also a Dubai kid, right? Yes, like Amy. Yes, I am a Dubai. Okay, kid. yeah, we went to the same high school. Yes. Yeah. Everyone's guest is always somehow connected to you, Amy. What is this? <laughs> I have a. So yeah, I'm, I know people. <laughs> <laughs> no, um. So I met Gab through an ex, actually. Yeah, that's how we became friends. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, Amy. With the awkward laugh. (laughs) (laughs) So anyway, how did you personally get into anime, Gab? (laughs) How did I what? How did you personally get into anime? Personally, um, I would say through friends. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. they told me to watch uh, Naruto, and uh, that's when I started watching anime. Basically, started watching Naruto. Took a took a long um, break from it though, but then mm-hmm. it started picking it up again like last year because there's so many weebs on my basketball team, and they they take heavy inspiration from uh, most of the characters, 
and I just think it's really cool to like unlock your next, you know, whether it's your next Super Saiyan mode or your <laughs> next uh, eight gates, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, mm-hmm. it kind of motivates me. But I also wanted to ask you, Gab, like, which came in first, your love for sports or anime? Like, did you get inspiration into playing basketball because of sport, uh, because of anime? Uh, actually, I did play basketball first before watching anime. Mm-hmm. But I do have a friend. His name is Ahmed Dono. Shout out to him. He's definitely going to watch this because he's a huge weeb. So he <laughs> started playing basketball after watching Kuroko no Basket. Mm-hmm. And also started playing volleyball because of IQ. 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 Yes. <laughs> yes. Of course. So, I think a lot of people got inspired by IQ. Yeah. So he's one of those athletes who started watching anime first and then played the sport. I- I've been watching a lot of sports anime, but my body is really not, you know. <laughs> it's not built for <laughs> like sports. Like, you name it, I've started with Slam Dunk. You know, and then I've seen, right? Yeah. Slam Dunk is really nice. That's the OG basketball anime back yeah, then. Yes. And Dear Boys, I've saw that. I've seen that too. But, you know, well, playing basketball at one point in my life, but it's only for extra points in school. <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> you know what? Now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen any sports anime. Wow. Really? Yeah. I think you should get started with Kuroko. Thank you. That's a, that's a good first sports anime to watch. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll watch that. Mm-hmm. It just doesn't it doesn't make sense to, to me because like unlike Slam Dunk, which is more realistic, you know, they take uh, mm-hmm. one episode to take one shot, but that's all right. But, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> one shot, but there's like four episodes worth of flashbacks, yeah. you know. <laughs> Tweet. Exactly. But if you think that, that doesn't make sense, then Kuroko is just like mm-hmm. people shooting from full court. It just people just looking at someone in the eye and then his ankle just cl- crosses. So <laughs> it's more of a power anime than a sports anime, if anything. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I'll, I'll watch it, I swear. <laughs> no, but like in terms of getting motivated, I've seen like um Blue Period, which is about this guy who's like too cool to do art anyway he gets into art long story short and then it inspired me to start painting as if i could even draw like the best thing i could draw is a stick person and that's not even good but it inspired me (laughs) speaking of another genre that inspired me was musical anime i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this anime but i saw years back like a la corda de oro episode and the the protagonist plays violin and then there's one guy who plays piano and i'm like let me try learning how to play piano but it only lasted for like i don't know maybe a month or two (laughs) but yeah i mean anime can inspire you to try something different at least and we are all i guess um proof of that (laughs) yeah and because of that like what do you think gab like because anime has clearly like inspired us in some form or the other what makes anime different from other forms of media in terms of inspiring people well i'll go back to my example with uh amit who watched uh anime first and then started basketball he probably if like let's take the example of seeing a real life athlete or an nba player and seeing him play well and then getting all the fame and all the stats and the way he plays, it might not motivate someone versus watching an anime where there's a whole story, there's a main character, he goes through you know, obstacles, he has a love life on the side probably, most likely <laughs> the love side. <laughs> of course, oh. anime does that. <laughs> so, someone watching the anime, in Kuroko no Basket, for example, can see like, oh my god, wow, this guy is so cool. Uh, shooting from full court, for example, and getting the girl, <laughs> something like that. So storytelling, you could say the storytelling side of uh, anime really inspires people to start something new. And on a personal level, do you find sports anime more enjo- enjoyable than watching regular anime or sports even? Uh, well, I, I'm not gonna say Kuroko's a better anime than like 
example naruto or something because naruto mm. has just there's so many levels uh to, to the story that it has koriko is just like one sport one kind of um filler episode and all of that when if it's a basketball anime yeah i'll be more into it but generally uh the other animes are way more enjoyable to watch mm-hmm. for sure but you know what i have i have a question since I don't play sports that much, right? And most of these sports anime, they explain what's happening in the episode, like the the technicality parts, I guess, which for a regular watcher, we wouldn't understand it. But what are some things in sports anime that are actually realistic? And what are some things that seem realistic, but it's bullshit? Like, you know, that's not going to happen. Like what you said, the... Obviously, the shooting from the other court <laughs> part is is completely mm, BS at this point. But yeah. what are some things that you think are realistic? I'll take the example of Slam Dunk versus Kuroko. Really simple. Mm-hmm. So in Slam Dunk, the main character... Well, yeah, it's actually a good comparison. Because in Slam Dunk, the main character is called a guy with red hair. Sakuragi. Sakuragi. He jumps mm-hmm. really high and he makes these incredible dunks. These mm-hmm. are all realistic and they can actually happen in a, a NBA game, for example. In Kuroko, the main pro- protagonist is a guy named Kagami, who also has red hair and also jumps high. But the, mm-hmm. but the really stupid thing in that anime, which is why I find it so entertaining, is, is that Kagami can stand in the air for a whole episode without, <laughs> without going down. And then... <laughs> And then, spoiler alert, um, he, uh, he, he unlocks this, this uh, mode, something like a Super Saiyan or something like a Nine Tails mode called the Zone. And in the <laughs> Zone, he gets red eyes <laughs> and, and then just starts zooming over the whole court like he's Flash or something. That's sh- that sh- that sh- sorry. It does happen in a real So that's why I find Kuroko so entertaining. Wait, Gab is laughing so much at Kuroko no basket, but he was recommending it to me. <laughs> um, it's no, I like things. It's so, dumb, so entertaining, yeah, that's No, but it's sort of like um one of our guests, Rexy said, right? Like part of the reason why you want to watch anime is sort of like the daftness to it. It's like, oh my god, what if the main character dies? I mean, obviously he's not gonna die, but it's just that feeling. <laughs> like, 200 more episodes after this, so obviously Naruto isn't gonna die, but... <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's how it is for anime, right? That's I remember um, there was a point in my life that I was so addicted to Prince of Tennis. If you guys have, oh my god, you, you can definitely see what kind of animes I've been watching when I was younger. <laughs> so when I was watching Prince of Tennis before, I was like so amazed that they can do these shots. Like you know, yeah. The they, they even have names for each technique, like a regular fighting shown in anime. I'm like, okay, and I definitely know it's not gonna happen in real life, but it inspired me to even try to play tennis but obviously in the philippines that's not possible Mm -hmm. just because we don't have space and tennis is a very expensive sport but if i had a chance i probably would have tried it as well it's just that i don't uh, i just like it when they explain the technical terms yes on the anime it's the same it's the same with kuroko with the with the names and attack uh, attack mm -hmm. names like this guy yeah like each member of the team has a superpower and one of them is called emperor's (laughs) eye where the guy looks at the other person and the guy just falls. So, I mean, in real, in real basketball, you call that an ankle breaker, but in this anime, you call it like emperor's eye or something. And, and they have that, yeah. And I don't know, like, yeah, I guess that's what makes it interesting. And yeah, sure. I don't know, like, I have this um, feeling that I support underdogs in animes. Yes. Do you guys have that same feeling too? Like sure. when the losing team yeah. or the protagonist, you're like, oh my god, how are they gonna win this? You know, <laughs> like it's, there's only how many shots left, or mm-hmm. the, the enemy team will win. What are they gonna do? So yeah, <laughs> that's get that gives me the hypes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Amy, 
was the like uh like with what you were saying the guy who was like in the air for like a whole episode was it like yeah. anime timing where it's like an entire episode but it was one second in their world or like was it literally <laughs> he was just <laughs> somehow the basketball game just prolonged itself and he was just up in the air what, what was that <laughs> Because he, he was jumping from the three-point line, uh, which is physically not possible. It took the whole episode for him to reach the other side. Yeah, but that happens in anime. Like, I mean, at this point, we already know that suspension of disbelief yeah. is something that's normal in anime. So it's just that I, I really liked watching, I would say, realistic anime. That's why uh, okay. I'm going to be biased about this, but I really like Slam Dunk. I haven't seen I haven't seen um Kuroko no Basuke, but obviously I've seen a lot of other sports anime mm-hmm. that involves superpowers. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Team what do you call this guy? What was the game? Was well, Rokawa. Team Rokawa. Rokawa yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see where Rokawa is. Oh my god. It's been a long time since I watched it. That's why. He's the popular guy in Slam Dunk. What is this? Rokawa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the black haired guy, the one who Sakuragi hates so much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm in the wrong group. I'm in the wrong podcast, people. Bald <laughs> podcast. <laughs> um, so we had um, so many tangents. <laughs> But Sorry. yeah, like since like anime is something that has motivated people in the past and um has inspired you in some ways, does anime still motivate you now as an athlete? Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys a wouldn't call it a secret. I right, fine, I'll, I'll I'll tell my secret. So in the gym, sometimes I like to listen to anime openings. To motivate myself. Yes, <laughs> my best friend. Yeah. <laughs> You're the only person who has ever existed in this podcast who likes anime openings. Oh my god. Yeah, no, I skip friend. anime openings. I'm like, I see no point. Like, <laughs> I have to. Especially the Naruto. But why? Why? Gets me hype. Sorry. It gets the uh, the Naruto openings because it gets me really hype, and I just feel like the main character. You know, I feel like the main character when I'm alone. And that, that song just lifts me up. Thank you, Gab. Thank you, Gab, for <laughs> validating me. <laughs> yes. Because for how many episodes, no one listens to anime wow. music? And I'm like, Come on, yeah. it's catchy. It's catchy. Why, why are you guys in an anime podcast? <laughs> we literally did an episode where it was about music, like anime music. And literally, me, the other co-host, and our guest was like, yeah, no, we skipped that shit. <laughs> and I'm like, why are you guys here? I was the only one talking the whole time. We were like, you're so weird. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, okay, wait, wait. This is the most important question. So since you listen to anime opening songs in um, in the gym, but when you're watching anime, do you skip them? I mean, I've seen, I've heard the song so many times, so I have to skip it. <laughs> Okay. That's, <laughs> that's <there's> right. <laughs> still, still, but still, he likes to listen to it casually, Amy. Still, okay. it's a valid point for me. Excuse me. <laughs> it's a 50 50 point. If, Viv, if you have a playlist, let me know. I need to, I need to get that playlist. Uh, I have so many. <laughs> I mean, suit it. I'm just so excited. Do what I need, you know. So like, I- see, I I also do the same thing. Like, whenever I'm in the gym, I also play anime music. Nice. Because it just, you know, pumps you up. Yeah. Right? No, let's... Okay. I don't even go to the gym. So that's one. <laughs> that's why. That's, that's another. <laughs> that's another topic, Amy. You need to go to the gym. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. So, okay. Let's go back to our topic. Um... Gab, I wanted to ask you, what is something that turns you off in regards to sports anime? Is there anything uh, yeah. that comes into mind? If it's, if, it's, if it's too realistic, I guess. So, I, that's why I like Kuroko. That's why I like Kuroko. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. But if a sports Valid anime, point. 
I mean, every every uh, sport anime nowadays has like some kind of superpower or something mm. that could never happen in a real sport. So I guess, yeah, mm-hmm. it just has to be uh, as unrealistic as it can be. <laughs> That's Yeah, the, otherwise yeah. he can just watch real sports, right? Exactly. Yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Maybe it it's fun to me just because I don't play the sport anyway. So it's the complete opposite of you. Like I remember another example is I like or I loved watching Queen's Gambit. I mean, I know how to play chess. I'm not an expert at it, but you know, it's like whoa, whoa, what are they gonna do next? Exactly. You know, and it's not like you can do a superpower in a Netflix series about chess. Is so that, I have. I mean, I just haven't thought of it. Is there a chess anime so, though, yeah. out there? Mm, I haven't seen chess, but I've seen um, Go. It's a Japanese, um, what do you call this? What, uh, it's a Japanese board game, and the name of the anime is Hikaru oh. no Go. So, ah, right? I've seen March Comes In Like a Lion, and it's sort of, it's it's shogi. It's kind oh, of yeah, like shogi. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's Japanese chess, yes. Mm, quick question. How many animes mm. have you watched? You know what? We we wrote like an entire list of anime that we've seen. I was like at 50 something and I I'm not even done with that list. Like that's I was like okay there's too much. I'm going to stop and I've never like continued. And I think Yvette in that list was already at 100 plus and she was like I'm not even done yet. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even done yet. I'm the weeb in this podcast. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> How many have you seen? No, nah, don't ask. Less than, less than <laughs> the fingers on my hands. <laughs> no, but you've seen Pokemon, though. <laughs> is that an anime, though? It is an anime. Uh... <laughs> yeah, because it's English. <laughs> it's, it's Amy's life mission to prove to people that Pokemon is, in fact, an anime. Yes, it is. Okay. It is. Okay. <laughs> if, if Dragon Ball Z is an anime, then I think. Pokemon qualifies too, right? Yeah. So, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To be fair, to be fair to AB, when I was younger, I thought um, Pokemon is cartoons as well because I didn't see yeah, yeah. the Japanese version until I was, um, you know, at at uni, I guess. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watched the latest one, the latest Pokemon one, the one with red. Is that that's an anime, right? That's <laughs> I mean, red is canonically in Pokemon in the game, so I didn't even know he was in the show now. <laughs> that Pokemon yeah, but me, is an yeah. anime, but it can't be Japanese. It just doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I would, I would agree on that. So, Gab, what do you think are some of sports anime's biggest challenges? Challenges. Challenges in meaning what? Like to get people to watch or... Like in general, what do you think? I think sports anime, with sports anime, it, it would, it would, the challenge would be to get people who don't play the sport to watch the anime so that's why animes like Kuroko or Haikyuu are made uh, to exaggerate what happens in the real sport so that's why mm-hmm. these anime uh, story creators make ridiculous powers give these ridiculous powers to these uh, main characters and that's what makes uh, the anime more enjoyable and entertaining to watch so like I said before just keep the uh, anime unrealistic as possible and you're gonna get you're gonna get a good storyline i think that's what it means but um do you think the opposite applies as well like instead of so we were talking about someone getting into sports just because of anime but do you think it's possible for someone who is in sports to get into anime like the opposite i mean it is possible because you are here but <laughs> in general i mean for me the example would I, I, me and some of my teammates started with with uh, the sport first and then we got mm-hmm. into anime so i think uh with basketball players if they're like have zero anime knowledge or anything it would come down to the influence of a person mm-hmm. 
Mm. So there's a lot of NBA players who take uh, heavy inspiration from anime. Most of them are really yeah, a lot, a lot of them. When they're in, the- I don't. I mean, okay. Yeah, there's a there's the- a high number of people who like to say I'm unlocking my Super Saiyan mode during the off season. Really? Yeah, there's actually a lot. Uh, so- Can you name some players? Uh, biggest weeb in the NBA. Um, probably the one of the young guys. Joel Embiid comes to mind. Uh, mm-hmm. Jordan Clarkson. Uh, yeah, just just to name a few. But it's mostly uh, the rookies. Can't name I mm-hmm. don't know the exact names, but I've seen a lot of stories uh, from the NBA players who uh, who saying they're gonna unlock their next. Super Saiyan mode because of the because of a loss they might have gotten or mm-hmm. yeah so heavy influence and even here like some of my teammates there's this guy named Mamadou Mamadou hope you're watching uh he calls himself Oct- Optimus Op- Octopus Prime because he can like reach uh, he has a big wing wingspan basically and he can block mm. every shot and uh, there's a character in the Kurokuna basket that is all plays just like him. So he always, mm. uh, like when he's posting, like when he's posting on Instagram, he posts his real life picture. And then on the next slide is an anime protagonist. <laughs> pretend. Mm, really? so, yeah. If you go to his Instagram right now, it's all anime, like on the next slide. So. Yeah. He's now my second best friend. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I haven't met him yet. Okay. You are now my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but I mean, I, it was so cool. I didn't know that um, basketball players in the NBA are, you know, there are weebs there. Like, it's yeah. just something that maybe doesn't really um, click with me. Because at least in my experience, people who I know that like sports rarely gets into anime. But maybe now they could be. But I don't know, maybe that's just my experience. Anyway, so <laughs> moving on. Um, I just wanted to ask you also, Gab, like, why do you think sports anime is inspiring to people? Inspiring? Like, what, ma- what, what makes it inspiring? Okay. I'll give my own example. Like I said in the beginning of the show, Rock Lee is one of my mm-hmm. uh, inspirations uh, just to excel in anything I do. But when it comes to mm-hmm. basketball or or the gym, or CrossFit, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I guess Rockley's story is just very inspiring because it's all pure hard work, unlike Sasuke and Naruto, who just had powers with them uh, as soon as they were born. Like, Naruto had the, the beast. In genetics. Him. Exactly, genetics, right? Like, <clears throat> he had the tail beast inside him. Sasuke had the, the Sharingan. He, he, Sharingan. He's a Uchiha that's just, like, born with genes and... Rock Lee had nothing. He just has Taijutsu, but still is like one of the most powerful characters, not just in Naruto, but like in all of anime. So, mm-hmm. and he just preaches hard work, and especially in his, I'm not saying I watch dub, but in his dub voice, he's just like really funny to like, I will work hard. I will outbeat everyone, blah, blah, blah. It's really inspiring. I mean, wait, yeah, I was really laughing when you said I didn't watch dub. Like, that disclaimer, like, <laughs> yeah. I don't want to say. <laughs> why? What's wrong with dub, Gab? What's wrong? It's not authentic. That's why. Why do you watch dub? <laughs> no, no, we had this whole. No, we, I, I, we watched sub, but um, she yeah. started watching dub very recently because of yeah. uh, someone close to her who doesn't you know watch who can't read anime. as fast for some reason okay. so <laughs> so she has no choice and she's trying to get this person into anime to... so she's like so that was their compromise watching dub so... anime dub because see this uh friend of mine is really not into anime and i'm like you, you need to watch you need to start watching anime like you know and then he said um but I cannot watch it in sub. I cannot read like while watching because what if you miss the action and stuff? Yeah. And I'm like, you gotta read okay. faster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have one eye on the screen, one eye on the subtitle. Like, I've had to practice. I have had years of practice, man. Yeah. But yeah, let's let's give it to the people who cannot read as fast as we are. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. And Amy. 
Sorry. Yeah, but going back yeah, to what I was saying. saying about uh, Rock Lee and how I relate to him, I guess I relate to him a lot because you could say Naruto and Sasuke are like some of my teammates who are like, Aww. you know, just just have good genetics. They're like seven feet, six five, and then I'm Asian and five eight. So I guess that's why I relate to Rock Lee a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Have you tried like um? Because I've seen like some YouTubers online that are like they've tried like um the exercise routine of One Punch Man, the exercise routine uh, of like Rock Lee and stuff. Have you ever tried anything like that? I've seen so many people try the the One Punch Man uh, routine. Routine. The hundred push. What is it? Hundred push ups. Hundred sit ups. Hundred. Um. What is it? Yeah, it's always a hundred something. I I just forgot the whole setup, but yeah. And then a a one mile run, something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a lot of TikTokers actually doing that challenge. Uh, but yeah, I wouldn't do those. Uh, I need something like more specific. <laughs> <laughs> just, Muscle building and stuff. Yeah. It's like just. <laughs> it's good for content, that's for sure. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't use it for functionality. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes sense. And what's some advice you want to give to aspiring athletes? Aspiring athletes? Uh, mm-hmm. Take it from my boy, Rock Lee. Hard work pays off. So whatever it is that you're trying to get into, even if it's not uh, sports, always be the best version of yourself and use every day uh, to get better. So if you need inspiration from anime, definitely watch it because it does uh, make you feel emotional and takes you to a whole nother level. I have a very stupid question though. Sure. I love Do you play NBA? Yeah. Like the, the video game? Yeah, I play too. Yeah. It's NBA too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah because uh, I don't know. Like... Okay. I- I'll shut up now. <laughs> I might get bathed after this episode. So, <laughs> yes, Amy, continue. <laughs> I think like in this episode I'm gonna get bashed the most because I don't watch sports anime except that one shogi anime that's like, <laughs> like there's no action. It's literally just an emotional boy who's trying to, <laughs> to play and he's shogi. Just thinking while, while making move, there's like three episodes in to do a certain move. So yeah. No no, like every episode there's a game. It's just it's about his internal state of mind. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm a loser, so um, Gab, is there anything else that's interesting that you personally feel you want to share? Uh yeah, a lot of things going on in my life right now. Uh working on a lot of a lot of projects here and there. Uh but I do wanna give a special shout out to my basketball brand, of course. Uh so just follow me. And uh, my shenanigans at 50c.ball on Instagram and TikTok. Uh, we do post a lot of basketball content that's not so serious. It's a lot of funny stuff. And I so badly want to make an anime opening kind of music video that I've been trying to yes, post please. for like <laughs> now because we have yeah because we have so many weebs on our team. So I'm like, yo, wouldn't it be cool if we just make like a dramatic music video with a basketball and you guys wear a suit and something in the garden or you know like any music uh anime opening <laughs> want to do that yeah that's what that's something i won't skip <laughs> <laughs> oh so you skip my videos <laughs> skipping anime songs is honestly blasphemous at this point it's sacrilegious <laughs> One so yeah, yeah that, that's really nice like i am looking forward to you guys having that kind of content so yeah i'm gonna yeah. push for that yeah for sure anime recommendations <laughs> oh shit i didn't think this through i will just recommend march came in like a lion because that's the only sports <laughs> anime i've seen <laughs> How about you, Gab? Do you have any anime recommendation that you want our audience to watch? It's pretty obvious. I think you've mentioned it. Yeah. Kuroko no Basuke? Yes, Kuroko no Basuke, guys. Please watch this <laughs> ridiculous anime with super-powered basketball players. Mm-hmm. I mean, for me, I already mentioned a lot of anime in this episode. So, um, I don't know. Yeah, 
Watch Naruto. <laughs> oh, no, just kidding. So yeah, I mean, you can watch Slam Dunk. You can watch Prince of Tennis. Those are all interesting animes. Um, I don't think I have watched any recent anime about sports. So yeah, I I, I cannot really think of anything. So yeah, those that's it for me. Yeah. And anything else you want to plug, Vivs? Um, just follow me on my Twitch and Instagram at Vivs Black Mage. How about you, Gab? Anything you want to promote? Yeah, uh, watch our streams, watch my streams on Gamers Hub, ME, Twitch, YouTube, TikTok. Yeah, we're everywhere. So, Gamers Hub, ME. What do you stream? A lot. Uh, Fortnite, <laughs> uh, Valorant, any, any game basically, but PUBG this weekend. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Approved, approved. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Vivs judges people who play Fortnite. <laughs> hey, there's a no building mode. It's fun now. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not judging. It's just that I mean, I don't know. I mean, you know, any it's not my anything favorite after game. my favorite. It's game. your favorite game. Tekken, Tekken. What? Wait. Yeah. Tekken. Oh, yeah. Oh. Tekken is good. <laughs> it's approved. I have it here. See. Oh. oh. <laughs> Yeah, I play Excuse with Excuse me. Fights. <laughs> yep, that's it for today's episode. Thank you guys again for watching and listening. Right? See you next episode. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.